enjoy your singlehood and don't let anybody to tell you that eh, this that 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 you're not complete without a man have your kind of spec <laughs> assumption has killed a lot of people he has destroyed a lot of people's life so don't assume things instead ask the right questions <laughs> guys for always clicking i'm really really excited to have you come back to my channel thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber i'm really really excited and i'm grateful thank you for clicking and of course if you're just joining like you're seeing my first for the first time my face for the first time you are welcome my name is ninja princess and it's so good to have you drop by okay and if you have not subscribed please do hit the subscribe button right here okay and also hit the notification bell so that once you know i post any video you'll be the first to get notified and please do give this video a thumbs up of course after watching the video don't forget to like don't forget to give it a thumbs up okay and also always watch the acts on my video guys always watch the acts on my videos okay guys today i'm going to be talking about my unpopular opinion about relationship and marriage this these things are something that you know we hear every day but i'm going to be you know you know saying something contrary to other people's opinion and this is my own opinion this is how i see them and this is how I, you know this is something that i've seen work for people and also had worked for me so it's very important that you listen to my opinion my own opinion unpopular opinion it's not popular we don't always work with the popularity okay so it's very important that you listen to this watch to the end and enjoy it please also do drop your own comment about what you feel you know if you're okay with what i said or you have something to add of course we're all here to learn and i want to also learn from you so do drop your comment okay right now after watching the videos and let me know what you think about what i've said okay so let's dive right in the first thing i'm going to be saying is that you should not just get married because everybody's rushing into marriage like don't rush like like don't rush into marriage <laughs> don't rush into marriage so that you don't go fall into a pit that you have dug for yourself that's the truth because nobody is actually going to witness your pains nobody's going to witness what you're going through nobody's going to witness anything except you you are the only person responsible for your happiness for your actions for everything okay so it's very important that you don't rush into marriage this is my unpopular opinion i'm just telling you do not rush into marriage because your friends are rushing in, your friends are all getting married, your cosmates are married, your friends, your circle, everyone is married, all your family members are also pressurizing you, get married today, get married tomorrow, get married, get married, you know, they're also trying to hook you up and all of that, you know, try to find your food and don't always rush into marriage. And this leads me to the next point, guys. It is okay to enjoy your single. It is okay to be single. In fact, in singlehood is where your life is being defined. That's where you find your purpose. That's where you find your vision. That is where you define your life purpose, you know, entirely. That is where you find you. That is where you find, you realize exactly who you are. So it's very important that you try to be, you know, to enjoy your singlehood. Do not be pressurized. Do not feel that you are alone in this world. You are the only person that is not married. No, you are not the only person. It is okay to be single. And it's okay also not to marry at 25, 26, 27. It is also okay, guys. So single is a sweet thing. It's also okay not to marry at 30. Guys, I'm not saying that uh, if you see a good man, like a good husband, a good wife, you should not marry. But I'm just saying that it is very important that you understand that your singlehood is where you find yourself. And try to find yourself before you even decide to, you know, get yourself hooked in marriage or whatever. So guys, this is my unpopular opinion. This has nothing to do with anybody, but it is my own opinion. And please... I also, do not forget to drop your comment if you're not okay with what I said, okay? So, this leads me to the next point, and this one I'm saying, do not work, do not fall into love, but walk into love. I know it sounds somehow, but let me define what I just said. What I mean is that when you fall into something, you 
kind of break your ankle or break your head or you know, break your hand, break your leg and all. But it is very important that you know you walk into something. That way you're walking with your head high, intact, you know, your eyes is wide open, you're seeing red flags, you're not, you know, you're not your eyes is not close to you know the things that really define what marriage is, you know, basically. So because people has actually, you know, because they fell into love, they got blinded so quickly that they refuse to see the things that they are supposed to see, they refuse to see the things that really matters. They sometimes turn blind eyes and say, okay, it's going to change, I'm going to change. But you can't actually change anybody. The truth is that it's only God that has the power to change a man or a woman. So don't don't feel yourself so much. You can't change people. If they can't change when in a relationship, they can never change in marriage. That's the truth. You have to live with this truth for the rest of your life that you are inside here and this is how it is. This is how it has always been and this is how we're going to enjoy life. So, it's either you're going to take that or you are not going to take that, okay? So, that is it. So, I don't know what, I don't know if that's okay by you, but it's very important that you walk into love don't fall in you know don't fall into it okay now my next unpopular opinion is that if the man is finding it difficult to talk about things and this is for our ladies like he's finding it difficult to tell you what he really wants try to pop the question by asking him what do you want like i know i know i know sometimes some people will say eh, allow the man to pop the question allow him to tell you what he wants you'll be waiting for five years he has not said anything guys it is very important that you ask him i'm not saying you should go ahead you know proposing to a man but i'm saying ask him what he wants ask him what exactly i will do in this relationship what is the stake about this whole thing what does he want now let me tell you a scenario when i was dating my husband okay we have actually not started dating because at the time he was just coming around pick me we'll go out and all and he was actually my my, my pastor in church <laughs> So guys, and I didn't know what, I, I just felt, you know, he would come, he would talk to every one of us. I was a copper at the time and he would talk to every one of us, talk to, you know, he would do as if he brought something for us. Later he would tell me, please, let's go out. You know, but I noticed he liked me, but he was finding it difficult to tell me, maybe because he's a pastor or because of whatever. It was later I found out he was actually shy, you know, about this whole, he has actually not been in a relationship. So he was, he didn't know how to say that to me. So I had to ask him. Uncle, <laughs> Pastor Sir, please, what do you want? What exactly do you want from me? And he had to say, that day he had to tell me, okay, this is what I want. You know, I just, you know, wanted to watch. How long are we going to be watching this thing, you know? So it's very important that you don't just, you know, you know, put your mind to it and say we're in a relationship. Assume thing. Assumption has killed a lot of people. It has destroyed a lot of people's life. So don't assume things. Instead, ask the right questions when you go on a date what do you ask this person are you just asking what's your favorite color what's what kind of what's your favorite food uh, what's your mother's name which village are you from is your mother and your sister alive you know those kind of questions don't ask those questions they don't actually make sense ask the right question ask the right question so you know your take your stand you know where you guys are heading to this is very important okay so this Let's go to my next unpopular, unpopular, unpopular opinion. My next opinion is that don't just accept anybody as you, as you know, into your life as your partner. Like everybody should not just have access into your life. This is the reason why people end up dating 20, 30, 40 people before they finally find the right people, find the right person. It is very important that Every, you don't just accept every relationship. Don't just accept relationship as they come. You know, try to have your life, you know, have your kind of spec. <laughs> now, when I say spec, I'm not saying you should have a very bogus, long written note. It, has, it must have, be rich, you must have money, you must be tall, you must be this, you must have big tummy, you must have six packs. You know, what if he's short and he has other qualities that you want? Are you still going to accept this person? So it's very important that you have a spec, but define it, be realistic about you, you know, your definition of who a spec is in your life. So <laughs> this is just it. 
all right don't just accept any kind of relationship in your life have you been in a situation where you ended the relationship or a relationship got sour and you tried as much as possible to bring this person back to your life and it never worked out then two years or three years down the line when you have found the right person and you look back and look at this person that you were begging those days and you say is this really the person i was dating have you been in that scenario i've actually been there and that's why i'm telling you that you should not just accept anybody anybody into your life have a spec it is very important you guys the bible says that we should write down our vision make it plain so that whoever that comes will run with it like anybody that comes we see those visions and run with it now when those people come and they're not meeting up to expectation they are not able to run with your vision you'll be able to point out errors and red flags and say okay this person does not fit into the vision i've built they don't fit into my dream person they don't fit into my dream like you have your own dream even before this person comes in okay so you know that this person he doesn't fit into my dream or she doesn't fit into my dream so i have to let's go okay so it's very important that you will enjoy your single okay so guys let's go Mommy. on to the next point so another thing i want to also talk about is that it's very important that you get married to a partner who is accountable be it a man be it a woman get somebody who is accountable to someone now this is reason why so many people are going through domestic violence and they don't have anybody to talk to because your husband or your wife does not fear anybody that they don't have anybody accountable to they don't have anybody you can report them to and they will listen to that person and some people also go through you know so many emotional traumas in their marriages you know or their relationship and also this this person does not your spouse or somebody that you know your spouse that is causing you all of this pain is not accountable to anybody so you do not actually have anybody to run to okay so make sure that whoever you're falling in love with or you are married to is you know accountable to someone they have a mentor they have somebody that you can run to and say eh, this is what this person is doing to me and i need your help and the person will actually call this person to order it is very important to you guys don't just overlook this thing you know i heard of people say do not involve a uh, third party into your marriages is a lie don't invite them invite them invite the right person it is very i'm not saying go and carry tank cry and start you know hitting around the road and say this is what is happening to you no but what i'm saying is that make sure your you know your your partner is accountable to someone who you can confidentially talk to and say this is what i'm going through and the person will call your spouse to order your spouse will definitely listen to that person this is very important it is very important this worked for us is still working for us and it will work for you if you try it the other thing is that it's very important that you note that you cannot know enough of your partner i know people will say eh, this, how long have you dated this i will say six months you say ah just six months you want to get married oh, don't do it or blah 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 let me tell you the truth if you like date 20 years 10 years you can never know this person enough that's the truth i am a husband actually dated for Five months i will go married on the sixth month and tomorrow to tomorrow i don't know him very i don't know him i don't know everything about him like sometimes he acts like this and i say ah, is this for a new important character like you know <laughs> so that's that's basically it so it's very important that you know you know that you can never know this person marriage is like an institution that you can never 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 you know come out of or graduate from it's not it's not possible so note that you will not know enough of your partner a man a woman alike you can never know a lot about them you can never know enough about them just keep learning them like you learn every day you get to know this person every day just like your child give birth to a child you need to really take uh, it's easy to learn this child of yours and know the direction where they are headed okay it is very important too okay so uh, this also brings me to another point which is that you will always see uh someone who is better beaut more handsome more beautiful than your spouse more intelligent than your spouse there's always a better person out there that's the truth <laughs> don't say you marry the right dude most handsome or the most intelligent or the most whatever no you always see someone you know uh better than your spouse that's the truth you always see someone more handsome than your spouse sometimes you can even get attracted to this person but also you know inside you be like I i'm married this is enough is enough and if that person you also you know seeing out there the person also have someone that is better than them so you can never see you know your spouse you always see someone that is 
always, you know, more handsome, more beautiful, more all the things that you're more godly even than your spouse. So just know this, have it at the back of your mind that you do not marry the best person in the world, but you marry someone that your heart can actually relate to it. Okay, this leads me to another point that it is two people, two people that makes a job like marital job well done. Okay, so if the Bible says that the Bible says that uh, two cannot work together except they agree. Okay, so if we, if we do not put in the work, we cannot make a better marriage, we cannot make a better relationship. So it's very important that we all decide, you know, to put in the work. Show me a marriage that is working and I'll tell, I'll show you two individuals that have made up their mind to put in their 100%. Like I bring my 100%, my spouse bringing his 100% and we do this whole thing and we make it work. Because he's not my brother, even my brother will have issues. He's not my sister. Like we are not siblings, we're not born from the same parents. And even if we are, we also have issues, okay? So this is very important for you to note, okay? So I think I will end it here and I might do a part two of this because I don't want this video to be too long. It's already getting long. I hope you understand. You guys, if you have other unpopular opinion about marriage, about relationship, please do drop it at the comment section. I'm going to do a part two of this video, okay? So that we all have, you know, this unpopular opinions together and see what it looks like thank you so much for watching and i'm expecting your comments by uh, you know once you watch this video and also give this video a thumbs up okay please do give the video a thumbs up and please guys do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed do subscribe okay subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel you guys and do hit the notification Bell so that you get notified once I post any video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'm super grateful and God bless you. See you on my next video.